Welcome to Reality Chat. I don't rap. It is getting down to crunch time, everybody. This week, the kids... What? I don't know. Yeah. This week, the kids hit the American Idol stage singing iTunes's top downloaded hits. iTunes's. iTunes's. I'm Justin Guarini. And I'm Kimberly Caldwell. Wednesday night's elimination was a memorable one. That's for Indeed. sure. We are spending the next hour covering every unbelievable performance the contestants belted out. Joining us for the wild ride is one sassy singer. Please welcome back to our studios the gal who captivated audiences with her soulful sound. Top three finalists from season six, Melinda Doolittle. Yeah! Yeah! Hey. Awesome. Hi. Hello. Hello. How, are How are you? I am wonderful. You look wonderful. And oh, always, thanks. always love having you here. Thank. I love being always here. Always love having you here. Okay, let's talk about your spring break tour. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's I'm do on it. tour with Phil Stacy, Gina Gloxon, Chikizi Eze. Mm -hmm. You gotta say it right. Oh, see, is, I is it, say, say, is it really Don't you say Eze? easy. Don't say easy. He gets mad. Chikizi Eze. Chikizi Eze. I could have swore even when he introduced himself to me, he said, "Hi, I'm Chikizi Easy." Well, he's moved on. Eze. Oh, he's okay. moved on. So, he's a professional. So the four I'm of us start are hanging out having a good Kimberly. time. Kimberly. Kimberly. <laughs> I'm not Kimberly anymore. I'm Kimberly. Did you think that 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 not to not to <laughs> <laughs> change his name? Sorry, that wasn't cool enough for you, Justin. <laughs> I'm Melinda. Let's get back to the show. Do you think that? Megan Joy deserved to go home. I she was my pick mm -hmm. to to go home this week. Yeah. Um, I, she had a rough night Tuesday. Mm. She did have a Plus rough her night. Little heart mm. that Bob Marley it didn't work out. No. But she was she looked really great. She always does. It's I know she does yeah. always look really good. She looked great. It was just it was a rough rough night mm. for. A few of them, few actually. People, so yeah. it, was, it was a kind of off night. I think the theme was a little broad. So. It, it was, and that's always dangerous. I mean, song choice is such a huge yes. thing in Idol period. But do you think that the judges were right in saying, you know what, so much for your save? Well, I think I think probably because of what it seemed like her attitude was, and it may have been like her defense mechanism or something. Mm. But it's exactly what I think. Her, it was. I, I think it might have been. It, she just took it so far that yeah, I felt like once she danced and cawed and yeah. did all of that, they were like, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. And then she yeah. did say she didn't care. Right. Exactly. And so those two things mm -hmm. put together, I think they could. Well, even... in um, just because I interviewed her afterwards, mm -hmm. and I said, you know, have you ever even sang on a stage before? She she has never even sang on a stage. She said her family forced her to audition. Mm -hmm. She didn't even want to. She never thought she would make it this far. And I said, okay, well now, you know, during the interview, I said, now's your chance. Like, tell people you care. She was like, I just don't care. <laughs> so, oh. you know, the thing is, is like, I think she just does her. And right. and that's her. And, you know, she doesn't need to, de like, defend herself, she, no. she thinks. It's, you know? kinda, it's, it's almost her. a little like Jason Castro was the season before. And right. you get to that point where you're like, okay, I don't normally do this. Right. And you have me up on this stage right. with all this makeup right. and hair right. and stuff. Right. And, this and is I'm like, doing it. Thing. I'm finished. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's watch uh, her American Idol journey come to an end after her performance of Lauren Hill and Bob Marley's Turn the Lights Down, though. Take a look. Been a long time. I get this message for you, boy. For you, boy. And it seems she has such a unique look, a unique voice, and I think that uh, what really did her in was that she had to shoehorn it into a Lauren Hill song. And Lauren Hill is... Lauren Hill, you know what I mean? Right. And she's got this sort of Bjorkish thing going on. Megan Joy has got this sort of, you know, Bjorkish thing going on. Natalie and Bruglia type thing going she on. She would have killed on a Duffy song. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. She's got that tone and, and the vibrato. It, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. anything yeah. in that vibe, I think yeah. she would have killed on. I think she just, maybe Lauren Hill wasn't the route. Well, it was just... even like the week before we were saying she should have chose my girl. Mm -hmm. You know? And so it's, it's like I really think that not having the experience, you know, like like just be, being exactly. on a stage, doing right. it, being in the entertainment industry, she just didn't really have all all the expertise of knowing, okay, this is what's right for me. This is what I should do. This is who I am. This is my image. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what hurt her, is not knowing who she was yet as an artist. And that, I, I feel like American Idol should be that platform where right. you are finding out who you are. Right. Yeah. And you can grow with that. Yeah. And I guess the theme is 
artistry right now. Right. So right. I think that they're looking for people that already have that. And exactly. I, I was thinking it was a different mm -hmm. kind of route for her. Mm -hmm. so. See, what I love is the fact that people like, we really watch people grow on American Idol. Yeah, yeah. And that's amazing. I mean, all of us grew so much on the show. But I think every single one of us, it was kind of our life before the show, too. Right. right. You know, we had already dedicated our lives to that. And, and that's the only reason why I think that she wasn't so upset because, as maybe some of the others might be when they're sent home, is because they, you know, they dedicate their entire lives to this. Yes, indeed. Okay, yes. here we go. Sealing her fate, Megan had a few words for Simon before flapping across the stage. I'm not kidding. Simon added it was boring, indulgent, and monotonous. How'd you feel after what Simon said last night? I love you, Simon, but I didn't really care. <laughs> You can also take a seat, but unfortunately, it's over here. In our bottom three tonight. People do some interesting things under pressure. Hi. And, uh, it, I mean, she was the mugging the whole bit. It was, it was tough to watch, but again, I think it's the lack of experience and defense mechanisms kicking in. I mean, we've never seen anything like this from her. It I'm really trying to sound professional I, right was, now, but what? It was kind of an homage to Rock and Robin, right? It was <laughs> like the call, call yes. thing going yeah. on. And so I kind of, I understood. I mean, I saw her look at Allison and be like, don't forget to call. So I saw her even say that. So no. maybe, maybe she was just going for the whole bird hey. thing. I think she kind of knew she was going home. Yeah. And so well, she maybe to have she watches the show and she saw us say, I don't think you should ever call ever. Calling is not okay. So maybe she thought, you know what, uh, calling is okay, and I'm gonna call. Back at you. <laughs> you know what? She was coming call after y'all. Call this, okay? <laughs> Okay. We had no clue how much power we have. All right, so joining much. Megan in the moving on. Joining Megan in the bottom three this week was oh boy, a new dog whose performance left Simon calling it a complete and utter mess. Do you agree? Complete and utter mess. I'm not sure about complete and utter. But what do you think? I wouldn't say complete and utter. I, yeah. I love a noob dog. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm a fan, and I, this wasn't my favorite performance of his. Yes. But I I still have this soft spot just because of my prerogative and the fact that that yeah. was on American Idol. So I can't uh, I can't quite get past be, that. Yeah. And now Usher mm -hmm. on American Idol. Yeah. So See, I, I love saying, that he did that. I said he was like a tiger. You know, because he goes from just like this sweet little like I'm gonna sing a ballad, and it's beautiful when he mm -hmm. sings ballads. But then he just was like, "Look at me, here I am." But I didn't feel like that was him. Uh, yeah, exactly. There's some sort of him. disconnect with me when he does the like the tough guy thing. You know and what I mean? I think too. he's yeah. I think he's got that, but it might just be a different song choice. It's because you know? he can sing, yes. but he chose a song that really. I mean, it showcases dancing, so exactly. yeah. that's not his like yeah. strongest point. So yeah. it looked like it wasn't working. Right. It wasn't one of those songs that showed his range or anything mm -hmm. like that. So it was just mm -hmm. hard to right. put all that together. That, that song was more like backup vocals and dancing. Yeah, you know, that's what it is. That's what that song is. So, so. Anyways, okay. So for the second time, Allison Irahita headed to the bottom three. Allison's take on a no doubt song left the judges talking more about her outfit than her vocals. What? I know what you're saying. She sang the heck out of the song. Yes, she did. I mean, obviously. What, why do you think they focus so much on her outfit? They have nothing else to say. <laughs> I think she's just that good. Right. And for the past two weeks, I've been really upset because they haven't even critiqued her. They've drawn mustaches on each other and mm. talked about her outfit, which was a tad bit distracting. But yeah. they're judges, so they can look past that and go ahead and talk about it. You know what I was vocals. thinking about? It is distracting, but... Think about Lady Gaga, who we'll be speaking about later. Yeah, hello? With the zipper. Talk about distracting, but it's in a great way. Stage, stage outfit. outfit. Okay. Good I point. get that. I Very get that. Very good point. So, you know what? Maybe when she goes on her own tour and should not have people telling her what to look like and what to be, <laughs> this is what she, will, she wants to be. She she wants. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Go exactly. Go. All right. We've got much more with Melinda right after the break. Melinda. We'll check in with her fellow finalists, Phil Stacy, later on this hour.